Hello everyone, this is an interesting problem which can be easily solved using the vectors. So, let us draw the free body diagram according to the conditions given in the question. Here is the ceiling. There is a light inextensible string having length L. Here is a charged particle having charge Q and mass M and this charged particle is in equilibrium. It means net force on it should be equal to 0. There is another charged particle which is here charge Q mass M again and it is fixed. Now according to the Coulomb's law the electrostatic force acts along the straight line joining the charged particles. So, on this charged particle, the electric force or electrostatic force, Coulomb force, whatever we say, is shown along the straight line like this. The gravitational force Mg is here and the tension T is like this. This angle is given as 60 degree. In the triangle, this length is L, side length is L. I am assuming the angle in front of this side length is alpha. Since this side length of the triangle is also L, then the angle here opposite to this side length should also be alpha. Now using the property of the triangle, the sum of the interior angles is 180 degree. So 180 degree should be equal to 60 degree plus 2 alpha. Here we get the alpha is equal to 60 degree. It means this is an equilateral triangle. Hence this length would also be equal to L. Okay, now we have the values of these angles 60 degree, 60 degree. If this angle is 60 degree, how much is this angle? Correct, it should also be 60 degree alternate angle. So, writing this as 60 degree. So, this total angle between the tension and mg is 120 degree. Let us mark it here. This was mg, this was tension, and this was electric force. We got the angle between tension and mg as 120 degree. Okay. Now look at this straight line. If this angle is 60 degree, what is the angle here? I mean this angle. Correct. It should be 120 degree. That is pretty simple. If this is a straight line, angle here is 60 degree, then everyone knows that this remaining angle will be 120 degree because the total angle here should be 180 degree. Now, the angle between the tension and the electric force is also 120 degree. So, the remaining angle directly we can say should also be 120 degree. Here comes an interesting analogy from the vector. If the net force is 0 and three forces are acting at a point like this, having the same magnitude, then the angle between the neighboring forces is 120 degree. I hope you remember that analogy. At a point if three forces of same magnitude are acting like this, that angle between neighboring forces is 120 degree, then the net force is 0. So using this analogy, we can directly say that the tension, electric force and the mg, they must have the equal magnitude. So writing that here, T is equal to mg and this should be equal to the electric force. Now, our task was to obtain the value of Q. For that, utilizing this expression and writing the things here, we now know that electric force is equal to mg. Electric force can be written using the Coulomb's law. Writing that data here, 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught Q Q upon L square is equal to mg. Our target is Q, so keeping the Q square in the LHS and shifting everything else in the RHS, mg 4 pi epsilon naught L square. Taking square root both sides, the Q would come out to be 4 pi epsilon naught mg power half and length L. This is the final answer. The same answer can be obtained using little bit longer analysis of the vectors. So that I am doing over here. This length was L. Here was the tension T. Here was the fixed charge. Here was the mg and here was the electric force. You remember 
we are making free body diagram of this charged particle again now drawing a line like this which is making an angle 90 degree here so what should be this angle we already know between tension and the electric force the angle was 120 degree so this angle here would be 30 degree we are marking the angle here also how much is this angle it is also 30 degree and this angle we can also easily mark is 60 degree see this was 60 degree if this angle is 60 degree then the angle here should also be 60 degree this total angle was to be 90 degree then this remaining is 30 degree doing the components of mg one component of mg in this direction will be mg cos 60 degree and another component of mg in this direction is mg sin 60 degree you agree the two components of mg they will be perpendicular to each other okay now doing the component of the electric force in this direction the component of electric force will be speak up f electric cos 30 correct and the component of electric force in this direction will be f electric sin 30 now if we visualize then the tension is being balanced by the sum of these two components so what we should write here we can write here that tension is equal to mg cos 60 plus f electric sin 30 degree now putting the values cos 60 degree is half f electric is already equal to mg so writing here mg and the sin 30 is again half so this comes out to be again mg already we have proved using the vector analysis that tension was equal to mg so whatever method you like you may note it down i hope you enjoyed the problem stay awesome see you again